What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lala, a.k.a. Lachelle, a.k.a. Shell, a.k.a. Michelle, my bell. And I got to come at y'all with a real quick video. And this is addressing the trolls of Second Life. Y'all could take it how you want to take it, fully clothed, the butt naked. It makes me no difference, right? So this is probably why I get kicked out of most Facebook groups. But I had to do it, right? Because I couldn't just sit back and let this troll gloat like they were really doing something big. First and foremost, I have never seen happy people find joy in making other people people miserable so when you brag about being a troll you're telling on yourself why don't you go get some counseling find your happy place and go make some real friends with your little toxic self but anyway y'all let me read you the post and then I'm gonna give you my response pardon me if I'm not reading it like as clearly as you want me to because I'm going to be mocking the troll because that's just how I view I can't take trolls seriously at all like I can't like who sits around like which we go make the mad on the game <laughs> Right? <laughs> so, this is the post. Trolls like to make fun of moronic things. One of my favorite things to do is virtual breaking and entering. You know, asking us to leave your virtual house makes us laugh. Me and my friends were kidnapped, and this lady took pictures of our friend, then had to leave. So we danced and ate nachos. Second time, we tried to be kind to a lady who we thought was cool, yet she never really calmed down. Like she didn't try to relax. We tried so hard to make her laugh and accept us. Yet being as how she was one of those normie normalos, well, you're, um, we're not even going to talk about the spelling, the grammatical errors. You're missing out on great fun. Yeah, you pay for your virtual land, yet you're telling us to leave your virtual land. Just, I don't know. I can't take that seriously. Some of them videos on YouTube are hilarious. Learn to relax your butt cracks. We're only here to cheer you up. Don't be a grump. What the F? We challenge you. First of all, who literally sits around and just like, hey guys, what you doing? Let's go bother somebody. Here's where you kind of put your foot in your mouth. You said you pay for your virtual land, yet you're asking us to leave. You pay for your virtual land, yet you're asking, you pay, meaning there's a monetary exchange, an exchange of currency. You're using some form of currency Trying to break it down as low as it can go because I don't feel like a lot of trolls have a high level of intelligence. So there's an exchange for the virtual property that you're on, yet you try to make us leave. And you're calling them moronic? Seriously? Like, and have y'all ever met a troll that's actually funny? Like the trolls are usually like these corny old Disney goofy <laughs> type of people and they come around and say and do lame things and they bring a group of lame people with them to cheer them on and it's just like really corny like I have yet to encounter a troll that actually makes me laugh they'll come on and be like hey it's awfully hot today in this virtual world what if I pull out my hose to cool you down <laughs> and it's just like oh okay and then their friends like <laughs> lol <laughs> It's so funny. And it's like, y'all are so corny. Like, go outside and make friends and mingle. Like, I think it's hilarious that you mock these people for taking their virtual land seriously. Yet here you are whining on a whole Facebook post about them not wanting you around. I find it hilarious. I find it hilarious that you're so invested in people's virtual life that you think it's so funny. Like, you are a straight contradiction. Oh, we're here to challenge you. But you're sitting here trying to water down people's experience saying, oh, it's just virtual. It's just virtual. So then what do you need to challenge them, dumb McGee? Like you're like a walk. It's funny because when I think of trolls, I think of people who don't have control at home or don't have control at work. So they get on the Internet and try to make other people miserable, like not even on my boredest day. Have I sat around and said, oh, I wonder what I could do to go agitate somebody. <laughs> Like, I've never done that. I've never. And it's like, that's how you know those people aren't happy. Anybody who gets a rise out of making people miserable, there is something in your life that you're not enjoying and you feel like you can't control it. So you come and try to get on other people's nerves. Like, those are the same people who be at work <laughs> acting like they're the manager when they're just like a regular technician level employee, right? Because they got to feel that power. That's the only way you can feel empowered is by making yourself a nuisance to other people. And you think it's funny. Like, seriously, y'all, I have never met a troll that was actually funny. They're all hella corny. 
Like seriously, they're all super, super corny and they think they're the world's greatest comedians. I have yet to watch any trolling video and be like, okay, that was actually funny. They come around, say really corny stuff. People are like, I'm just irritated with you because I want you to leave. And it makes me feel like that's probably how people feel about them in real life too. <laughs> like just, just leave, please. And they just around here just being these cornballs. And I imagine them sitting in their mother's basement, binging on Red Bulls, Monsters and Chocolate, just to stay awake and get on people's nerves. Like, I don't, I don't get it. You're saying, I think it's moronic to be a troll, <laughs> period. I'm barely on Second Life. But when I'm on, I don't want to be bothered by you. I want to come and talk to people because I understand that there are people with not saying everybody, but I understand that there are people with like disabilities. One girl brought up in the comments, like there are people who are like paraplegic and they can't do anything. So that second life is their only way of getting out and feeling normal. And I'm sure people are going to come into the comments with the judgment because everybody's a philosopher and a life coach, whatever. <laughs> but she's like, there are people who basically are bedridden, wheelchair bound, and they can't get out and do those things in real life. So Second life is their solace. It's like, who are you to tell somebody what should be important? Anyway, y'all tell me down below what you think. Like I said, I've never met a cool or a funny troll. So jokes on you, darling, because this post made you look real dumb, dum, dum, dum. Thank y'all for watching. Follow me on my social media. Mwah.